हेलो दिस इज मी रेखा सेन ऑन स्पाइस वेक्षा टुडे वी आर गोइंग ओवर द न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट एज आई प्रोमिस अर्लियर दैट वी विल मीट यू सोन ऑन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो आई एम हियर द न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट इज हैपन इफ द एनी एबनॉर्मलिटी अकर ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम स्पेसिफिकली क्लोजिंग ऑफ एंटीरियर एंड द पोस्टीरियर न्यूरोपोर विच ऑल्सो नॉन एज द क्रीनियर एंड द कॉर्डल न्यूरोपोर टू नो दैट हाउ द न्यूरल ट्यूब डेवलप go and check out my previous video on the development of the nervous system where i explain about the neural tube development and their derivatives link is given in description below so which are the condition will be happen due to the neural tube defect normally anterior neuropore closes at 25th day posterior neuropore closes at 27th day you can see the picture centrally it is a neural tube it has their cranial neuropore and the caudal neuropore in central longitudinal line and this is the neural fold which is a look like a leaf of the tree and this is the shallow median groove of the neural plate between the neural fold of an embryo which is the neural groove so in this picture there are a different neural tube defect we learn today one by one the first one condition is anencephaly as you can see this little baby don't have a complete skull and brain i will discuss in detail later the second one condition is cranio richis cissis in which both brain and the spinal cord remain open due to neural tube fail to close properly from the cranial neuropore to caudal neuropore in which both anencephaly and the spina bifida will be present then other condition which is the anencephaly is a rare but most severe birth defect result in extreme retroflexion means backward bending of the head combined with the severe distortion of the spine as you can see this picture is a no standard treatment but as a preventive medicine give a folic acid supplements then other condition is encephalocele it's a sac like protrusion of the brain and the meninges that cover it through the opening in the skull it classified as a occipital encephalocele between lamboid suture and the foramen magnum the foramen magnum is large oval opening of occipital bone of the skull through which is the spinal cord and the parietal which between the magma and the lamboid suture and the anterior encephalocele is between the magma and the ethmoid bone more common is occipital and the parietal one okay and in this condition prevalence of the mental retardation is significant and the survival rate is decrease then the last condition which is the open and the closed spina bifida as you can see this both picture in open spina bifida protrusion of the meninges and the spinal spinal cord and is not covered by the skin but in the close one it is a covered by skin and spinal cord is not damaged so now we discuss the anencephaly and the spina bifida in much detail anencephaly in second picture normal newborn have a fully developed brain and brain stem and the first picture shows the underdeveloped specially cerebrum and the cerebellum but brain stem is normally developed baby born with the underdeveloped brain and incomplete skull it's a disorder of the neural tube defect upper part of the neural tube close it helps to form a baby's brain and skull due to neural tube fail to close properly the developing brain and spinal cord are exposed to amniotic fluid which is surrounding the fetus in womb this exposure causes the nervous tissue to break down called degenerate 
so due to the degeneration person with the anencephaly are missing large part of the brain which is cerebrum and cerebellum this brain region are necessary for thinking hearing vision emotion and the coordinating movements because anencephaly is so severe there are not compatible for extra uterine environment almost all babies with the anencephaly die before birth or within a few hours or days after birth as you can see this is the real picture of anencephalic baby and also the usg image in the usg image you can see the orbital cavity here the nose and eyes look like a frog eye this is the sign of anencephaly and this is the degenerative brain tissue in this image as you can see this little baby's back something is protruding what is it it is a spina bifida means split spine lower part or the posterior neuropore of neural tube close it helps to form spinal cord and backbones spina bifida is a birth defect in which developing baby spinal cord fail to develop properly so now we learn about the how many types of the spina bifida three type of spina bifida is here the one is the spina bifida occulta the second one is the meningocele also known as the meningeal cyst the third one is the myelomeningocele another name is meningomyelocele okay so we discussing one by one in detail type 1 is a spina bifida occulta see the first picture on your left side upper portion is shows the under the skin spinal cord and the meninges not protrude remain under the vertebra no spinal cord is damaged it is a hidden because prenatal test often don't detect it it is the most common least severe and the mild type of the spina bifida usually no sign and symptoms but often found accidentally in the later life like a hair dimple or the birthmark on the back and the second type is meningocele it is the least common as you can see the middle figure defect or absence of vertebral arches due to the failure of mesoderm to organize only meninges protrude not spinal no spinal cord is not damaged no severe signs and symptoms and the third type is myelomeningocele which is a most severe as you can see the last figure spinal cord and meninges are protrude out and opening bony vertebral skin may or may not intact on back spinal cord exposed and can be damaged also develop a risk of infection sign and symptoms shows that loss of sensation paralysis bladder and bowel movement problems seizures legs and foot deformities meningomyelocele also associated with the unknown chiari type 2 malformation now you thinking that what is the unknown chiari type 2 malformation so where cerebellar and the brain stem tissue slip down into the foramen magnum tell me what is the foramen magnum answer in the comment section sign and symptoms of chiari is related to the cerebellum see the usg image shows lemon skull it is also one type of sign and symptoms and may also result in the blockage of csf causing a condition called the hydrocephalus which i will discuss on my next lecture
So, how and why the spina bifida occur? The exact cause of the spina bifida remain unknown. No one knows what disturbed the complete closure of the neural tube and causing this malformation to develop. Scientists suspect the multiple genetic and environmental risk factors play a role. Scientific studies indicate that insufficient intake of folic acid or vitamin B9 in the mother's diet is a key factor for causing a spina bifida and other neural tube defect. So, how to prevent? Giving a food, especially grain products such as cereals and bread added with the folic acid or fortified. Also supplements are available. So, give as a prenatal vitamins to prevent a developmental abnormalities. When should take folic acid supplements? 2-3 to three months before conceive and until 12 weeks of pregnancy. What about the doses? Is 400 microgram daily as a preventive medicine but if defect is occur, recommended higher doses. Then other causes are obesity, poorly controlled diabetes and the medication that interfere with the folic metabolism. One of the example is anti seizure medication how to diagnose for myelomeningocele often done prenatally which is the taste maternal serum alpha phytoprotein in spina bifida increased alpha phytoprotein in mother serum can be increased in other condition like a down syndromes but not increase more than that in spina bifida. Other blood tests are HCG, inhibin A, estriol, then ultrasound and MRI, amniocentesis, withdrawn sample from amniotic sac in most severe cases. In the MRI images, first image A shows the meningocele and the second image B shows the myelomeningocele. What about the treatment? Close myelomeningocele through the prenatal surgery, but it can be dangerous. And in postnatal surgery, done days within the birth to minimize the risk of meningitis. Then taking an additional intervention, maybe for a lifelong, like a urinary catheterization, wheelchair or crutches, because spinal nerves can't be repaired. We had discussed today about the neural tube defect that different conditions, types, causes, diagnostic test and the treatment. Now summarize the whole topic. Anterior neuropore and the posterior neuropore not close properly in embryo because of the pregnant female have a folic acid deficiency. If anterior neuropore not close properly cause anencephaly. If posterior neuropore not close properly causes spina bifida and its complication. If from anterior to posterior neuropore not close properly causes cranio recessus. And the last thing is the types of spina bifida, which is the first one is the spina bifida occulta, then second one is the meningocele, also known as meningeal cyst, and third one is the myelomeningocele, which is also known as the meningomyelocele. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more this type of lectures comment below and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends